Hi everyone, it's Diane. I haven't put a video on in a few weeks, but I have been busy. I've still been uh, making smash books with papers that I have, trying to clean out my stash. Not completely, but just, you know, shrink it. And I had a friend, as I mentioned in another video, who gave me um, quite a lot of her things when she decided she didn't have time to do paper crafts anymore. And so I have several books here that are made, um, most of it with some of the papers that she gave me. So I'm holding my video in my hand, my camera in my hand today, because I'm trying to do this quickly. So let's see how good I do. And let's just start with this book right here. Um, this one has pretty floral paper on the cover. Um, obviously I bound it with my bind it all as I did all the books and all the books are made with um, covers from books that I took apart and this little frame with the birdhouse on it was made with my Cricut. This envelope was made with the Cricut also and I have this purple paper clip and I glued a little purple button on it and there's a card in the envelope that was also made with the Cricut. I think this was my friend, uh, a different friend's um, cartridge. I don't have this cartridge, so I'm not sure which cartridge it was. This is a pretty set of K & Company papers throughout this book. And I had some pieces left over from a, a set that I had made um, little girls' smash books out of. And it had some cards left over, so I glued some journaling spots on the back of those. This is just a cutout from some other paper that I had. And some pieces, I, I think these were cut with the Cricut. I, or may, yeah, I think they were the Cricut. I filled in um, with some other Kane Company papers that I had left over. And this one has a pocket here that I border punched with a Martha Stewart punch. And then I put in some journaling cards. This one has some little washi tape decoration, and this is a sticky note, like a post-it note. It just says notes on it. And this has a clear sticker that says, dream as if you have forever, live as if you only have today. There's more washi tape down there. This was um, one of the free printables that I found on Pinterest, printed off. And then these were cut with the Cricut two little photo frame, photo mats, and I put a little sticker on there that says Cherish. This was, I believe this was a printable also, and I glued it on there as a pocket, and I put this, uh, I think it's a Seven Gypsies tag in there. Sticker up there that says Cherish Yesterday, Dream Tomorrow, Live Today. It's a clear sticker journaling spot. This is an old leftover piece. Um, it says, So Lucky. This one is um, from We Are Memory Keepers, little booklets of journaling pages and tags you can get at Target. It says, Delight in the Little Things. You Hold My Heart, a journaling spot that I printed. And another Seven Gypsies tag. This one is just a square tag with a hole in it and I stamped on it noteworthy. If you can hear sirens, I hear them going by my house. <clears throat> Here's a pocket on this one and that says fill each day with joy. And this is just a piece that was left over. I rounded the corners and it can be, there's space there for writing. Or it can be a photo mat. This is a tag that I cut with the Cricut. A couple more photo mats there. Another long pocket with some cards. Another um, piece that was left from the paper that I just rounded the corners and it's light enough it can be written on or you can put a picture on it. Here's a card from the My Mind's Eye Simple Stories I think it's called or Life Stories. Who, What, When, Where, and Why. 
and just a journaling tag card. This has a journaling spot on there that I printed. There's another one of those clear stickers. Be strong, go with your heart, and believe in miracles because anything can happen. And then at the end, I used this pretty pearlized envelope. Um, put a little cut out there, punch out, and I filled it up with more things that can be used throughout the book, little goodies. Um, and decorated the back of it with a little journaling spots and just glued on some leftover things here to make it look pretty and use some washi tape and then this was a library book that I took out of the back of one of those books that I get that the library sells for a dollar and I just glued some scrapbook paper on it and then put in a couple of this is a library card and this one says books read list so it's a fun way to keep track of the books you read so there's one of the books get that out of the way and move on this one has already been claimed by my daughter-in-law but I told her I wanted to make a video before she took it home and this is another set of K and Company paper and I had this left over from another project and it says family ties it's got a little glitter on that and then in here is, I bought this on, I think it's a K and Company piece, and I bought a set of different things like this that were movable. I've shown them in some of my other videos, but this one says, I'm so fortunate to have you in my life. And then you move it to show whatever words you want it to show. My daughter-in-law thought that was cute. But anyway, this one has dragonflies on it, and there's a time card there butterflies that one says lifelong memories a sticker this one is a little card that says I will love you forever and I put it on as a pocket and stuck in this to do card and another journaling card that I made with a scrap of ledger paper and a seven gypsy sticker for a tab this one I made a pocket out of a leftover piece of that paper and punched a thumb tab with my circle punch it says treasured moments and then this ticket or tag was made with my pic picturesque cartridge and it says write it on your heart that every day is the best day of the year Ralph Waldo Emerson that's a stamp that I have I stamped in the corners of this paper and then I stamped up here. We do not remember days, we remember moments. This one has a little paper bag and I decorated it with a couple of stickers and then put in this tag that I had sprayed with glimmer mist, decorated with washi tape and glued another couple pieces on there to decorate it up. Put some ribbon in it. Some plain K and Company paper. This is a a 6x6 six six Prima paper that I had and it was white on one side so I decorated it with some leftover pieces. This one has a paper bag that whoops, I punched out some butterflies and glued them down. Just um, decorated it with paper, made a nice tag to stick in there, nice tag there, and stuck a couple of little tags in that pocket. This is a little card that came in a pack of cards. It just says hello, and I glued it down as a pocket, and put a little bingo card in there, and a couple of, um, oh, I forgot her name, Ross. Anyway, Melody Ross. I have a set of cards with words on them by her. It's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> and then this is a little card that says remember to and then it has a list with check off boxes on it. This is um, a journaling card that has all the months on it and then a grid to write on. And this is a tag that I stamped on and sprayed. 
This is a postcard tag that I got in a set at Hobby Lobby and I stamped on it and used washi tape on the other side. This one I stamped again in the corners and stamped the better part of one's life consists of his friendships, Abraham Lincoln. And here's one of those bingo cards, says best ever, and I just stitched it on on one side, stamped this tag, it's been glimmer misted, put some stickers on that page. This one just um, had an edge punch, Martha Stewart edge punch, and I stamped um, a day to remember, and you can circle the month and the date and write the year in, and XOXO, and then all you need is love and a journaling spot. That's, um, sorry, this is, all of these are little, well, not the, not this part, but these three parts here are little yellow bicycle stamps that I found at, I think it was AC Moore for two dollars. I bought uh, several sets, and I think I showed them in a video. There's another one of the um, bingo cards, The Good Life, that I used as a little pocket. And here's another one of the paper bags. And, oops, sorry. This is a pocket, and I glued on a little scrap of this paper to hinge it with so I wouldn't lose pocket space there. I'm sorry, I keep moving my camera so you can't see. And there's, a, a, again, a tag inside. And then on the back, there's a pocket that I made, slanted, and I put on this dimensional sticker. It says, I wish you the best. And here's another. I believe this is one of those We Are Memory Keepers from Target. And an envelope tucked in there with more goodies. So my daughter-in-law gets all of this stuff. And I think I will stop here and I will do the other two books in another video. See you soon. Leave a comment.